first I'm going to take everything out. I'm going to put everything on the bed and then I'm giving myself an unlimited budget to buy, to shop from my collection. Let's see how this method goes. It's a little bit counterintuitive to traditional ways of decluttering. You usually look at a piece and then say, oh, do I want to keep it, get rid of it, or it's a maybe. It just like came to my mind the other day and I was like, wait, that could actually work and could make the whole process a little bit more fun. So I'm doing a little shopping spree, but with my own collection. Let's get started. Before we continue, can we appreciate the beautiful sunset today? It's so, so pretty. Also puts me in a very good decluttering mood. Back to business, I've put all of my fall winter bits except for my coats and jackets which is in my coat closet so everything in my bedroom closet uh, for fall winter is here you can see kind of my color palette these days it's like lots of different shades of green lots of light neutrals a few dark neutrals and red out of the only two sweater dresses i have i know for sure i have worn this dress a couple of times have worn this dress zero times and even if i see it in store it's just it doesn't excite me anymore i'm going to buy this and get rid of that two red sweaters i actually do like them both this one is a bit more quirky it's got like cute snoopy pattern on it it's really really comfortable i love the cardigan style and this is 100 cashmere i love the vibrant red color i've styled it in a couple of winter styling videos buying both of them these are all like thin knits that can kind of serve as layering piece and you can also wear them by themselves probably the most special cashmere piece i own and guess where it's from it's from topshop i got it for like 20 dollars before the topshop store in new york closed it was such a steal and 100 percent cashmere uh for the sheer value of that i wouldn't get rid of it. even if i am you know shopping today and seeing it in the store i want to pick it up because of the really interesting shoulder design i've just have never seen anything like that the one sweater i am getting rid of is this like mustard yellow sweater it is really comfortable but i always gravitate toward my beige version which is like really really similar this one torn i do really like the bambi pattern the issue is the sleeve is really skinny and i actually for example the sweater i'm wearing now it's i mean this is like extra extra large so it is super super baggy but i just really like how if the sweater is baggy i would love the sleeve to also be baggy and proportionate to it i'm gonna see if i wear it in the next couple of weeks they're like similar style kind of this really thick knitted it's not any fancy material but i love these so much in fact they are probably amongst the most worn knits of this season i know the totem striped sweater trend is leaving us but um, they are so classic they're both from h&m by the way this one is a cotton version and then this one is a wool version which is super warm they're just really handy for the fall winter and this one i wear more in like the spring season so i would love to repurchase these too another great find this year from h&m is this um, cashmere wool blend sweater this color is gorgeous so far i've been buying most of the things in my collection which is great because i do do pretty frequent clear outs like if i see something that i know i'm not gonna wear i would just get rid of it right away and these two are neutral cardigans this one i've had for years featured in my recent zara keeps video and then this one is new but old in that it is a secondhand piece and it is from weekend max mara can you believe it and i got it for like 30 dollars which is amazing given how this is 
a I think it's a wool cashmere piece so definitely find both of them this is a great comparison against my mustard yellow sweater this light yellow just suits me so much more than the mustard yellow so every time i'm going for a yellow shirt i always gravitate towards this one and then this is from free people 100 cashmere i really love the cropped design and the big bat wing sleeves so so soft i think this is the last cashmere piece from club monaco it's just a neutral colored cashmere sweater that will never go out of style i'm keeping all my petite studio sweaters i wear these so much because they're really comfortable but like interesting design like this one was color blocking this one i was wearing this actually yesterday um that's really warm but like with these wavy artsy detail and this is my most worn of the season which is this like piping cardigan so so handy i took this on trips and just wear this all the time at home as well these three definitely keepers you know my love for this pearl zara sweater these two are kind of similar in like the speckled design <laughs> as you can see most of my knits are in this like beigey creamy color just because it's my favorite color in an outfit and i can wear these with everything i love the colorful speckles in this one and then this is just like big baggy and goes well over leggings i've got these two which are <laughs> pretty much identical in terms of the pattern but this is the h&m version that reminds me of the totem one that i'm definitely keeping love the silhouette of this but this one i actually bought mm, several months ago from primark i bought it because i like the cropped length but i also realized the neckline is a little bit um high for the springtime but the cropped length works better with spring outfits so i haven't really worn this and so i'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. it still has a tag on it but it is a tory birch cardigan and it is 100 wool i just love the button detail of this cardigan it's nothing like super special i do like the color but i don't know i feel like it's just too preppy for me like for cardigan i like the really oversized ones but i do really like the color i'm gonna put this in the maybe i am too scared of wearing a white sweatshirt so i'm gonna put this in the maybe pile and challenge myself to not be afraid of wearing white sweatshirt these are both down vests from tory birch this packs in this tiny little bag perfect for travel i actually recently just used it on my trip and then this is just a really fun um but also really warm cropped bright neon green vest that i honestly would always pick it up if i see it in the store i have tried so many times uh because i want to sell this club monaco feather vest but i i don't know i just couldn't bring myself to do it and if i see it in the store i would still want to try it because it just feels like a princess outfit and i'm allowing myself to keep my princess dream by <laughs> keeping this vest and it is really really warm so this will be perfect again for the springtime these two are both really light colored vests but i'm going to actually not buy this zara one if i see this in the store again i probably wouldn't buy it again just because it's a little bit too bulky a few more vests i'm keeping this one from aritzia it's really great for layering uh this one from rehoas really love the asymmetrical design this is the zara one i actually wear it more in the summertime and then this is a tory birch piece that is gorgeous quality these are all of the keeps and then these are maybe slash two set let's look at these tops i am actually going to 
keep slash buy pretty much all of these I do like them a lot and I actually think they're better use for the springtime so like I haven't actually worn them this season but they are great for the upcoming spring season this is my pride and joy my green olive green like jumpsuit thingy that I picked up I think last year really love this it like fits me perfectly and it makes me feel like a power woman so keeping this one and then for the jeans, this is, I'm just gonna sell this. This is from Paige. I don't wear skinny jeans anymore. And this is a mid-rise, I believe. So I don't prefer the rise, even though it's extremely comfortable. Really thick legging from Halogen. I got it from Nordstrom. Um, it's great for traveling. These two sweatpants are definite keeps. I actually wear these like prettier looking sweatpants when I'm traveling. This is a very thick cashmere dress that I'm also torn on whether to sell because if I were to go for a dress, I would rather go for like a skirt. So I'm gonna put that in the maybe. I don't actually think I wore it this season. And then this is like a basically a thanksgiving dress and it is really really thick jacquard material i'm also torn because i have worn this but i've only worn it once and i feel like it's a good like special occasion dress but i don't have that many special occasions to go to and i can always turn my like everyday piece into a special occasion just with the magic of accessories and styling so i think i'm gonna part ways with this oh i don't know but look at the intricate detail oh i didn't realize it's a pineapple what i totally thought these are just leaves now i'm looking at the pattern it's like pineapples and like birds and flowers so is this like a spring dress oh okay i'm gonna put this in the maybe there's no point like holding on to pieces just because it's special but I, I just can't find occasions to wear. This one though, I picked up um, several months ago. It is a like shirt dress, but in this beautiful sheen. So I actually haven't worn it out yet. I do want to wear it out. <gasps> you know what? Tell me this isn't the cutest date night outfit. Okay, I'm going to hang it up like this because this way, I will remember to wear both of these pieces that I love but actually haven't worn this season. And then we've got a Ralph Lauren jumpsuit. I got this years ago from eBay um, and it's really great quality actually. Just never got a chance to wear it but I definitely want to keep it because it's um, it's beautiful cut and like this pink stripe style is so preppy so classic i feel like i can wear this with lots of outfits i'm definitely keeping this and need to remind myself to wear this more and this is another um kind of combination of special occasion and casual i do want to wear this more with sweater over uh, in the spring so love this Lo look at the sheen it's so beautiful this is from where is it from uh asos full leather shorts i did style it multiple times but i actually might have only worn it out like once or twice this season and i don't know maybe i'm past the age of wearing these short <laughs> shorts so i think unfortunately i'm gonna say goodbye to this this i talked about in the zara keeps very comfortable and i feel like for the occasions i would want to wear these leather shorts i can just wear this instead and have like kind of similar effect these are really handy dandy wintery skirts i love this one this is also secondhand from j crew wool beautiful color cut this is another secondhand piece knit skirt this is pretty recent i love this skirt very much these are more like transitional slinky skirts definitely keeping and this is part of a pink stripe set definitely keeping i love the fit of this so well 
and then this is vintage wool pants love this as well really cool this is also from the zara keep video i am just gonna keep it because i really like the cut and fit of this but i haven't worn it once this season i just don't didn't have the occasion to so we'll see next season if i end up wearing this and then this is probably my favorite bottom um of fall winter it's like a boucle tweed bottom from tory birch this is another tory birch piece it's a really thick linen cotton material this is another tory birch piece also boucle tweed it is a maxi wool thick skirt and then more tory i most of my bottoms are actually tory birch just because i love um the design and the cut everything is just perfection so i'm keeping all of these are from tory birch this is from primark i like it because it's got elasticated waist and this is from mango also keeping because of the elasticated waist easy to pair with everything this last piece is from petite studio also has an elasticated waistband on the back and i love the cut of this as well nine pieces that i am testing out one last time slash probably just end up getting rid of these at the end of the season i mean i do have a lot but i feel like every single piece here that i'm keeping i am very happy to pull out my wardrobe and wear anytime during the season so that is a big win we are now in my coat closet i have actually tried on i think every single coat that i own in the past and i'm actually going to pretty much keep everything the one thing i know for sure i'm selling is this huge boucle jacket that's just too big for me everything else here i do really love and i have videos on all of my tweed jackets i have videos on my entire coat collection i will also add that this season um, because i was kindly sent these petite studio pieces these three i've worn this so much especially this one is my most worn jacket of the season because it's double-sided and you can wear it to travels dog walks fancy occasions casual occasions like i love 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 this thing so that is the outerwear situation i'm very happy with them let me know in the comments how you typically declutter and please please do share all of your tips and tricks <music>